Americans just love their TV. According to AC Nielsen, the average American watches more than four hours of television each day. That's two months of nonstop TV watching per year. But in recent years, the definition of what watching TV means has been very blurry. More and more Americans are ditching the cable boxes and satellite dishes in favor of other ways to satisfy their personal entertainment needs. The advent of high-speed internet, smart TVs, and of course, the rise of streaming services, many Americans have found more enjoyable and dependable ways to watch the content they want when they want it, and for a fraction of the cost. But is banning the box and ditching the dish all it's cracked up to be? We recently caught up with Marshall Onoroff, editor of Tomsguide.com, who is an expert on cutting the cord. I think the first thing most people do is take a look at their cable bill and realize just how high the price is, and that it increases over time, often without warning. I wrote a more comprehensive cord cutting guide to tell people how they could take all this information and synthesize it together to watch exactly what they want to watch without paying an exorbitant cost to cable or satellite companies for it. First thing I recommend people do is buy an HD antenna because you'd be surprised just how much content you can get for free. When it comes to smart TVs versus standalone devices, it's not necessarily an either-or proposition. Smart TVs are a great place to start, and to be perfectly honest, unless you're going for a real budget model, it's hard to buy a TV that doesn't have smart capabilities. But if you want to get really, really niche channels, that's when you have to start looking into the Roku and the Amazon Fire TV and the Apple TV. What I like to tell people is that there is no perfect streaming device. It depends on what you want to watch, how you want to watch it, and what resolution you want to watch it in. While a more DIY approach to customizing your in-home entertainment content may seem enticing, no matter how you slice it, you're going to need some sort of connection, namely to the internet. One of the first things you're really going to pay attention to as you choose your internet service provider is data rates. The quality of your internet connection will ultimately affect the kind of video that you're able to watch. You might want to upgrade your router and hardwire the connection in order to get that premium 4K HDR experience, but for the everyday watcher, as long as you have a good, stable connection, that's sufficient for most video watching needs. Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Video control the lion's share of people who just watch streaming video. If you want all three, it actually does cost less to subscribe to all three of them than it does to have a cable subscription most places in the United States. The easiest thing to do if you want to watch something in particular is just to buy it or rent it a la carte through a service like Amazon Video or Vudu, picking the exact thing you want, paying some money for it, and then giving it back after about 48 hours. The average American cable bill has risen 44% in the past six years, roughly eight times the rate of inflation, which is causing many Americans to opt out of traditional service offerings. One of the wonderful things about streaming services is that premium channels are starting to realize they don't have to hitch their wagons to these very expensive cable and satellite services. Now, these prices can rack up after a while, $15 here and $15 there, and sooner or later you're back to a regular cable or satellite cost, but at least you're watching exactly what you want to watch and you have it available on demand. It's very difficult to cut the cord and watch all the sports you normally watch whenever you want to watch them. One of the cheapest cable replacement services is Sling TV. A $20 per month Sling TV subscription will get you ESPN, if nothing else. The final thing you can do regarding sports is to subscribe to a service like MLB TV. Most, but not all, Major League Sports have this kind of standalone streaming service that you can go to the website and learn about. It's not a perfect solution, but there are inexpensive ways that you can combine with each other to watch all the sports that you normally watch. Cable and satellite subscriptions have become so integral to the way that we watch TV it can be scary to think about having a household without that. What if you can't watch the exact thing you want to watch at the exact time you're able to watch it? But first of all, people are more adaptable than you might think. They will quickly get used to watching a show one day later or maybe missing one show out of a roster of five or six they like to keep up with. There will always be DVD sets. There will always be ways to download it after the fact. And not only that, but if cord cutting absolutely doesn't work out for you, go back to the cable or satellite company. They will probably give you a good reintroductory deal. Cutting the cord may seem a little too techy, but with a little research and planning, it's really not that complicated. And in the end, it can actually be cheaper, more customizable, and a better television experience for your household. Just remember to keep watching Housemarts no matter how you get your service.